welcome back. Um, first and foremost, thank you so much for joining me again today. Um, our practice is devoted to the question, what matters most? And I think this is an important question to ask ourselves and to continue to ask ourselves as we move through life. Um, because I think we spend so much of our time, our energy, our mental capacity uh, worrying about things that don't matter, that at the end of the day really don't matter, our perceived problems, um, ruminating over something in the past that we cannot change, worrying about something in the future that we don't know if it will happen at all. Um, but if we strip and peel away all of that and come back to the question of what matters most, we have this compass. Um, what matters most can help you make choices. It can help you in difficult moments, situations, interactions, experiences. Remind yourself that you will get through this and what matters most may not be what's right in front of you. And when you think about what is really, truly important to you, and usually you can break it down to like three items. Uh, when I've been contemplating this question myself over the past 24 hours, 48 hours, I just kept coming back to the word love, right? What matters most is love. Because um, I would start with family and friends, relationships, uh, my relationship with my body. But all of those are rooted in love, right? The foundation is love. Um, so I encourage you as we move across our mats to just let this question of what matters most be like a seed that's planted into your practice and maybe allow it to blossom and to grow as you travel across your mat. Um, it's also maybe an invitation to write three things down that are important to you that you would like to commit to, right? Or maybe journal about what is important to you and where you place your energy and does that align, right, where you place your energy with what is important to you holding in your life. Um, but with that, what matters most uh, may be different for you than it is for me, um, but let this practice be an opportunity to explore this question. Um, and even if it's just the asking of the question and there is no answer yet, even by the end of the 60 minutes. Uh, we'll start on the back body. Um, Rather than Shavasana, go ahead and find a fallen bridge shape. And if you're not familiar with that shape, what it is is knees bent as if you're headed to bridge pose. With your feet about your distance, let your knees knock towards center. You could even turn your toes slightly and heels slightly wide. And then maybe you place your palms face down on the earth beside you, finding a sense of grounding. And then begin to deepen your breath. As you invite a wider inhalation through your nose, feel a slower, steadier, longer exhalation empty out of your nose. As you watch your breath move in and out of your body, Now that mindful awareness of the inhale and exhale to help transition you into this moment here and now. Into this mindful space where you can ask yourself deep questions. You can open the door for clarity and answers. And you can begin to reach into the core of who you are. And peel back the layers that maybe you've piled on top of your core as a form of protection. But while you're in this space, while you're on your yoga mat, you don't need to protect yourself from yourself or the world around you. As you move and as you breathe. You can peel those layers away, you can open yourself up. And by doing so, come into greater understanding. So 
Continue to deepen your breath to the steadiness of the earth below. Once again, just plant the seed, ask yourself the question of what matters most. At the end of the day, at the end of your life, what matters most? And take a big breath in through your nose. Maybe an open mouth exhale to release. Begin to extend into a full body stretch. Take your time to send your legs long, reach your arms up and overhead. Please spread your fingers, your toes, circle through your ankles and your wrists. And start to bring your right knee into your shoulder. And release your hands onto your right shin. And then take a deep belly breath in. And as your breath empties out, move into a supine twist. So let your right knee tip across your body. Let your right shoulder get heavy for a moment. And just take a deep inhale to your right side. Maybe twist a bit deeper as you let that exhale empty away. One more breath here. And then from your supine twist, keep your right knee bent and bridge your right foot to the earth to help square your pelvis and a long neutral spine and a little bit of core connection as you lift your left leg up to the sky and then reach behind your left leg for your hamstring stretch. Your head, shoulders, hips all be heavy. You might flex in point, maybe circle out through your left ankle. Just encourage your lean towards your body, find that point of resistance so you get a nice deep stretch through the back of your leg. And then if your left heel is not already flexed to the sky, reach up through your left heel. And release your hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide. Keep your low back anchored and inhale your left leg down to a hover or your low point. So the low point that feels healthy for your low back and your core is nice and active. And your exhale, bring your right knee towards your chest and twist your left elbow to your right knee. So like a little bicycle crunch. On your in breath, push your right foot forward, bring your heart through center. Now listen with your exhale, lift your left leg straight up to the sky. And we'll do that two more times. So inhale, left leg lowers towards your hover point. And exhale your right knee in, twist your left elbow across. On your in breath, lengthen through the center line. On your exhale, lift your left leg up tall. And one more time through, inhale, left leg lowers. On your exhale, bring your right knee in, twist your left elbow across. Then push your right foot forward, bring your heart through center, and lift your left leg up to the sky. And we'll head into wind removing pose, second side neck. So as your head and shoulders relax, bend your left knee to left shoulder and just let your right leg rest to the earth. Take a moment to draw your thigh in nice and close. Take an in breath. And then exit a twist. Left knee tips over to your right. And allow the space for two full cycles of breath to move into your left side body. the end of that second breath, put your left foot to the earth to square your hips on your mat, activate your belly to send your right leg up to the sky and then reach behind your right leg and just take a moment here as you open your hamstring, your calf and check in with your ankle. And since the back body is all connected, your entire post chain, right? feel that stretch from the crown of your head down to your tail to your right heel, all moving together. So as you reach the crown of your head to the baseboard behind you, your tailbone forward and push up through your right heel, you get a nice deep stretch across the entire back body. And as your next exhale begins to empty out, take your hands to interlace behind your head. 
Feel your low back press into the earth, front line strong, and inhale your right leg down to your low point, your hover point. Push energy forward through your right heel. As you exhale, bring your left knee to your chest and twist your right elbow across. Good, inhale, left foot forward, heart to the midline. Exhale, right leg tall to the sky. And two more, inhale your right leg down. Exhale, left knee bends in, twist your right elbow across. With an inhale, send your left foot forward, open your heart to center. Exhale, your right leg tall but the sky. And one more time, inhale, right leg lowers. Exhale, bend your left knee in as you twist. Good, inhale, lengthen, open through your center. And slowly lift your right leg to the sky with an exhale. And release, relax, let your knees come to your heart space and then find a modified happy baby. So hands to your shins, let your knees just fall wide. Offer your body a breath in through your nose. Maybe open mouth, exhale to release. And then bring your knees to center. Start to find your way to tabletop pose all fours. So either rock and roll forward and back, or just tip to your left or to your right. And then bring your shoulders right above your wrists, your hips right above your knees. Open really wide through your fingers and just take a breath or two of any organic movement. So this could be hip circles. Right. Can be checking in with your neck. Right. Let it be intuitive, start to wake up through your spine. As you reestablish your ujjayi breath, you can continue in your organic movement. And when you're ready with an inhale, lift your heart, lift your tail, stretch into your cow pose. With your exhale, curl your spine, find your cat pose, round the back of your heart, let your head be heavy, tailbone tucked. Then come through a neutral spine. Tuck your toes, lead with your hip creases, and slowly rise up and back downward facing dog. And adjust your stance as much as you need. Maybe pedal your feet. Just take a moment to familiarize yourself with your down dog today. As you light up your ujjayi breath, you again just ask yourself that question. Okay, what matters most? A little softness in your knees, tailbone tall, relax the weight of your skull. Some buoyancy beneath your armpits, let your heart melts towards the earth. And then slowly wander forward into your forward fold. Bend a stretch along the way. And eventually let your knees soften as you relax your upper half across your lower body. And shift a little bit forward and back here for some decompression, travel up the length of your spine. You could even take pinkies to opposite elbows. Breathe into your thoracic spine, so the upper back space behind your heart. And as you exhale, just see if you can let go even more. On your next breath in, find a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen out, so your core connect. And exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale all the way up to stand, Urdhva Hastasana, both hands reach high. And exhale your hands to heart center. Okay, what matters most? As you breathe in, reach tall to the ceiling, Urdhva Hastasana. With your breath out, forward fold, soft knees, a long spine, and that hinge forward from your hips. Good. Inhale to lift halfway, Ardhva Uttanasana. On your exhale, step your left foot to the back of your mat to a low lunge. Just let your left knee come to a hover cow lunge, push it back through your heel and forward through your heart. And as your breath empties away, cat lunge and leap through both your legs, dive your chest towards your right thigh. Then bend into your right knee. Right, anchor through your hands. See how quietly, how controlled you can step back to high plank pose. So from your upper body, from your core, right foot meets your left. And push the earth away. Knit in through your front line. Draw your navel to your spine. And with an in-breath, shift forward to your tippy toes. Knees up or down, you decide. Slowly lower to the earth. Let your elbows go straight back. 
as the heels of your hands drag to your toes, strong through your triceps and back area. And untuck your toes a little cobra, press through your toenails as you light up your thighs and pull your navel to your spine, lift the back of your heart. And your exhale lowers you back down. Retuck your toes, draw your elbows in close again. Knees up or down, high plank pose, push the earth away. A downward facing dog, hike your pelvis to the sky. And then inhale, rise your heels up high. On your exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top, forward fold. Take a half lift with your in-breath. And exhale to release. Power of your inhale lifts you all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to your heart as you exhale, take a moment to reconnect. Then breathe and reach tall when you look to the sky. With your exhale, fold back towards the earth. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen halfway. And your exhalation, step your right foot to the back of your mat. Then inhale your heart forward, cow lunge, let your right knee come into a hover. On your exhalation, cat lunge, find length through your legs. As you rebend into your left knee, push the earth away with your hands, step back to your high plank, nice and strong. And with intention, inhale to shift forward. Knees up or down, lower halfway, all the way as you exhale. Open your heart up, dog or cobra, deep breath in. And then we'll all meet back, downward facing dog. Feel your low belly has the strength to pike your pelvis to the sky. Okay, one last sunny, inhale, heels high. Exhale, travel to the top of your waist up or float. Half lift with your in breath. And dive down on your exhalation. Good. Inhale, pull you to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe in, reach to the sky. As you breathe out, fold back to your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, vinyasa or down dog. So step back either to down dog or take a full or modified chaturanga or whatever combination of shapes you feel called to move through in this moment. Uh, the tempo of your breath. And once you return to down dog, take a deep breath in through your nose. And open up, exhale, release. And inhale your right leg up to the sky, find your three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend your knee and open your hip here. Okay, find a tight squeeze of heel to seat, so there's like a hamstring curl action. Then use your right glute straight to lift your knee up. Push down through your left leg and root through your hands. Then take a big breath in. On your exhale, keep your hip open. Take your right knee towards your right shoulder. So think glute is engaged as you shift forward. Shoulders are square. Step back to a high plank as you breathe in. And then bring your left knee to your nose. Breath out, round your spine like a cat. Three-legged dog, lift your left leg up with an inhale. And exhale your left foot forward to the top of your mat. Take your time. Drop your right knee to the earth. Let your right knee hug forward, your left heel drag back. And once you have that active engagement with your legs, lift through your heart and hands. And exhale your hands to heart center. Then root down and away through your left foot. Lift the front of your pelvis with your belly strength. And then stretch your heart up into your thumbs. Reach the crown of your head tall to the sky. And breathe into the back of your body. Then inhale, circle, sweep your hands to the ceiling. And on your exhale, bring your hands down to the earth. Lengthen both your legs for your cat lunge. As you bend into your left knee, and find a standing split, lift your right leg to the sky. Big breath in. See if you can relax the weight of your head as you exhale that breath away. Feel your right hamstring strong. Take another inhale. 
Then right foot to the back of your mat, so you're back in your low lunge. And this time add a twist. Reach your left hand to the sky. Turn your heart to the left. And press to the ball mount of your right foot, so your right quad is strong, right hamstring elevated. And then wrap your right ribs around towards your left thigh. Let your left shoulder peel back. Reach up with your left fingers on your inhale. As you exhale, release your left hand down to the inside of your left foot. Turn all ten toes to the right until your right knee bends into a side lunge. Add a twist, so left hand to the earth and right hand to the sky. Press your sits bones back, push your feet down and away from one another. As you press down with your left hand, push your left hand energetically towards your left foot to twist a little bit deeper. Just to rotate to your right, find a low lunge to face the back of your yoga mat. Stretch your heart forward, chair pose. Stay low with your seat as you step to the top. Once the weight is in your heels, root to rise. Utkatasana, big breath in. Good, open arm twist to the right. Sweep your right hand down and back as you exhale. Chair pose, inhale through your center. Right to the left, exhale. Your left hand reaches down and back. Everything else stays square. Your knees are square. And then back to chair pose, breath in. And forward fold release. Take a half lift, big inhale. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Lift your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And at the top, bend your knee and open through your head. Push the earth away, find a buoyancy beneath your pelvis. Let your left glute and hamstring active. Maybe your left knee can lift a little higher from your seat straight. Relax the weight of your skull, take a breath in. On your exhale, left knee to your left shoulder. Try to keep your shoulders square. Push the earth away. Left knee stays elevated so your glutes stay strong as you shift. Good high plank. Inhale your left foot back. Exhale brings right knee to nose around your spine. Three-legged dog. Shoot your right leg up to the sky. Then use your strong core. Step your right foot forward to the top. Release your left knee to the earth. And activate through your legs, hug it on that giant block between your thighs and lift through your heart and hands. Bring your hands to your heart center. Anjali Mudra. And that root to rise sensation, staying long through your front and back body. And active through your core. One more breath in and one slow breath out here. Circle, sweep your hands to the sky and your inhale. Cat lunge, exhale to find length through your legs and through your breath. And now with a long right leg, you're going to bend into your right knee. And then find your standing split, so you just open through your right leg. Use that here, relax the weight of your head again. Let your spine lengthen as your left leg lifts a little bit taller. And you breathe in deeply. With your breath out, step your left foot to the back of your mat and then twist your right hand to the sky. So your right sitting bone hug to the midline. Now active through your legs. Get a little earthy through your pelvis and light through your heart as you roll into your twist a bit deeper. You have some energy up through your right fingertips. With your breath out, we're gonna spin to the left and to our left knee bends side lunge. And put your right hand down to the earth and twist your left hand to the sky. You're going to use the earth to deepen the stretch. So think push down and away through your feet. Like you're trying to lengthen your yoga mat. And you pull your right hand towards your right foot. You might twist a little bit deeper. And then turn to your left low lunge to face forward. A long spine step to your seat. Utkatasana chair pulse. So you push through your heels, lift your heart and hands. A twist to your left, exhale, left hand back, feel the weight in your heels, core to spine. Utkatasana, your inhale brings you through center. Exhale, second side, reach your right hand back. Then inhale through your center. And exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway. And step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. And with an inhalation, three-legged dog, right leg finds the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knee and open through your hip. Stay here or find a wild thing. Maybe step your right toes behind you. 
and then rotate your head open to the sky. Light through your right toes. Think side plank through your left hand and left foot. And with control, three-legged duck. So you root through your right hand, reach it back. Through your right foot, breath in. Right knee, right shoulder. Inhale to your high plank. Exhale your left knee to your nose. Three-legged dog, lift your left leg up high. As you breathe out, step your left foot forward to the top. And feel your right hip hug forward, left hip hug back into square. As you push through your feet, their left heel pull back as you lift to crescent lunge. So we want to keep the hamstring and inner thigh active through transition. Take a moment at the top, feel your breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale, hands to heart center. Option, dip your right knee down to a hover. Keep your right heel high and pressed back. Now push down, inhale up top. Two more here. Exhale, hands to heart. Maybe sink your right into a hover. One more time, inhale, crescent lunge. And then exhale, hands to heart as you sink low. Take a breath in here. And exhale to so your airplane pose. Slowly push yourself forward and then pull yourself into your standing balance. And find one long line of energy from crown to right foot. Turn your thumbs wide to open your chest. And your front arms up in it and find a sense of buoyancy. So to bend into your left knee and slow motion dive to your standing splits. And inhale at the top. Exhale, Shiva squat, bend and tap your left knee towards your right calf, lift your heart, drop your booty, and then extend back to your standing splits with an inhale. Good, exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing splits. Last time here, exhale, Shiva squat. Now pause at the bottom, step your right foot to the back of your mat and twist your left hand in the sky one big breath in on your exhalation turn to your right until your right knee bends side lunge add the twist left hand down right hand to the sky inhale to rotate more exhale low lunge to the back of your yoga mat all ten toes turn chair pose step into your seat and feel your core support your spine and bring your hands to your heart this time Inhale your heart to your thumbs. Prayer twist your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Maybe look down to check that your left knee is still in line with your right knee. And then use your Hakini Mudra to rotate around. Let your right shoulder peel back and open. If your seat gets lower, your heart gets higher. But if you want a little challenge, look to the earth. Maybe rise to your tippy toes. So your core help you feel a little bit lighter. When you're ready, you're gonna slow motion release your heels, and then rise all the way to stand with your right leg, Ekapada Tadasana. And then on an exhalation, and go ahead and fly back, airplane pose. You're here for one inhalation. Right, soft step back, crescent lunge, right toes to the earth, reach your hands to the sky. Then exhale, brings your hands down to your mat, frame your left foot on the ground. Inhale your left leg to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale to bend your knee, open your head. Stay here or wild thing, perhaps your left toes land lightly behind you. Let your shoulder blades scoop your heart up to the ceiling. With control, three-legged dog. Stay buoyant in your pelvis. So, High through your hips, inhale to lengthen your left leg out. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Breathe in, step to high plank. As you breathe out, bring your right knee to your nose. Three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. From your core connection, land your right foot forward in between your thumbs. And once your feet are rooted, hips square. Rise to your crescent lunge. So try to be really active through your right foot. Push down through all four corners. Feel your right heel hug towards the back of your mat slightly. To the top, just take a moment to catch your breath. And when you're ready, a big breath in. And ujjayi, exhale, hands still heart. Maybe left knee comes to a hover. The dips are always optional. 
Inhale, press your right heel, left ball on to rise. Exhale, hands to heart, sink low. One more time here, inhale, root to reach. Exhale, hands to heart as you sink. Pause at the bottom, tall through your torso for an inhale. Okay, keep your heart proud as you tip forward to your airplane pose, launch into your standing balance. Bring your shoulder blades together. So to bend into your right knee. Slow motion, control your tip into your standing splits. Eventually, hands to the earth, left leg is at the sky. Inhale at the top. Exhale, Shiva squat, bend, tap. You can always test your balance a little bit, lifting your hands if you want to at the bottom, but then push to re-extend. And two more here. Keep your left heel tight to your seat as you drop low. Lift your heart, look forward. And then push to re-extend. The last time here, Shiva squat and pause. At the bottom, step your left foot back to your twisted low lunge. Reach your right hand to the sky, gather and inhale. Good spin to your left until your left knee bends, side lunge with your exhale. Right hand down, twist your left hand to the sky, take a big breath in. Rotate to your left, low lunge all the way to the top of your mat, breath out. Utkatasana, chair pose, find your seat. As you reach through your hands, keep the length in your spine, and then bring your hands to heart center. Okay, full in breath. Exhale out that entire breath as you twist your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Check in with the alignment of your knees, lower body square. Sink through your seat and rotate through your heart. Maybe that Hakina, Hakini Mudra where you bring your fingertips together. Elbows are a little bit wider. Now look down to the earth. Option to rise to your tippy toes. We can sink your seat a little bit lower, fill your core, fill your quads. Then re-contact your breath. We establish that Ujjayi inhale and Ujjayi exhale. Now, gracefully lay your heels down and come through center, rise to stand. You'll bring your left leg with you at the top. Okay, root through your right foot. The crown of your head extend towards the sky. And you're ready to fly airplane pose, start to sweep back. Press the earth away for an inhale. See how lightly you can land with your exhale to your crescent lunge. You find length with your breath in, and then exhale your hands down to the earth. Three-legged dog, sweep your right leg to the ceiling, full breath in. Bend your knee and open your hip as you breathe out. And from here, three-legged dog, re-extend with your inhale. We're going to shift forward, side plank to face the right, so left hand is your base. Stack your right foot on your left, reach your right hand to the sky. You can also always stagger your feet. You could drop your left knee to the earth to modify. You could hover your right leg. Take a breath in with your right foot is stacked. You want to lift it to start. You're going to exhale right knee to right shoulder. So as you bring your right hand to the earth, spin onto the ball end of your left foot, right knee to right shoulder. High plank pose, inhale your right foot back. Exhale your left knee to your nose. Three-legged dog, lift your left leg up tall. You land your left foot forward to the top. Press it, lunge and inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, dip your right knee to a hover and hold. Find two slow breaths here. Maybe close your eyes to challenge your balance. But just come back to that question of what matters most. And inhale to prepare. Exhale, airplane pulse, slowly hinge for lengthen up and up. If you'd like to, you could take warrior three here. Send your hands out in line with your spine. Let your upper back lift your hands. Start to bend into your left knee, hinge to your standing splits, take an inhale at top. Shiva squat, bend, tap, and pause. Drive your right heel up towards your seat. Maybe seeing your booty lower. Maybe you bring your hands to heart center and lift your heart away from your left thigh. 
And we're gonna step back into our twisted low one. So take an in breath to prepare. Exhale, right toes back, right hand to the earth and left hand to the sky. And option for a horizon, one to your turn, all 10 toes to the left, dip your hips, reach your left hand to the back of your mat. And then push down, reach up and over. All right, two more here and inhale, sink low. And exhale, push down, reach over. Last one like this, inhale, dip into your horizon lunge. As you exhale, rise and rotate all 10 toes to the right. Bend into your right knee side lunge. Option to take the twist right hand to the sky. Option to find skandhasana instead this time. So maybe hands to heart, left toes to the ceiling. Gather a full body breath in. Turn to your right as you breathe out. Low lunge to the back of your mat. Wait to your right foot, step to your chair pulse. We get low with your seat, lift through heart and hands, one breath in. Hands to heart center, breath out. Take an inhale here. Use your exhale to twist left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. And refine your pulse. Feel your hip creases pull back so you're along through your spine. Now take your gaze down to the earth. Wait till your left foot come to your right to be toes. Use your core to get light through that right side. Now you might keep your gaze at the earth. We're gonna rise with that connection between right knee and left elbow. See how tall you can get with that connection. And then at the top, start to rise up and then split your wings out wide. Uh, twisted Ekapada Tadasana. Breathe in. Option to send your right leg long as you exhale. Take one more breath here. Warrior three, sweep your right leg back, reach both hands out in front of you. And breathe in. Crescent lunge, soft release. Stack up through your spine. Bring your hands down to the earth. And step back into a high plank pose this time. On your in breath, shift forward. Vinyasa or down dog, exhale through. Feel free to add in or take away as you see fit. And allow your knees to come to the earth. Take three breaths in child's pose. You could also just be in an easy seat with your eyes closed. So deciding what you need in this moment to be a sip of water. And during this pause, you might come back to that question. What matters most? After moving and breathing, how has your relationship with this question shifted at all? Have you gained any new insights? Have you recognized that maybe something you thought was important isn't as important as you thought it was? Maybe you start to realize that there's a root to maybe a couple of things that are high on your list, such as love, right? When you bring friends, family, partners, significant others, all under the category of love. And again, these three things, or the one thing, or whatever it is that you have condensed into your list of what matters most, can serve as an internal compass for you. And so, as we continue on, we finish the second side of our flow and start to bring it down towards the earth. What matters most on your map? most likely not the down dogs, the chaturangas. It's not about the physical strength and space, but about that deeper connection. That feeling of flow where everything else fades away. The presence of being in the moment here and now. Okay, so take your time, make your way back into your downward facing dog. If you want like a little cat cow in between, feel free to add that in. Right, fingers wide again, right, anchor through your finger pads, and push the earth away. Feel the slight wrap of your triceps down and your biceps in and up. That external rotation through your shoulders, length through your spine. So again, inhale together through the nose. And open mouth, exhale, release. Now please lift your left leg to the sky as you breathe in. 
Bend your knee and open your hip breath out. And inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, side plank, right hand as your base. You're gonna open to your left, so your side plank variation. Maybe notice how if you're coming from that down dog shape, if you feel a little bit more lifted through your pelvis to start. Good, you can keep your left leg where it is, or you can start to float it already. We're gonna take an inhale here, and then exhale here. So again, we're gonna take our left knee to left shoulder. Look towards the top of your mat as you bring your left hand down and spin onto the ball of your right foot, left knee to left shoulder. Yeah, good, and then inhale, high plank pose. Exhale your right knee to your nose. Three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. And step your right foot forward to the top of your mat. Crescent lunge, rise with intention, so find the integrity in your transition. So all the spaces between are just as important as the poses we're moving to and from. But dripping your hands to heart, dip your left knee to a hover. You can always bring it to the earth. You can always stay up high. But we're here for two steady breaths, eyes open or closed. Allow yourself to explore the edge. Allow there to be some quivers and shakes. And then deepen your breath in. Exhale, airplane pose. Start to pull yourself forward and up. Invitation to take a warrior three. Maybe send your hands out in front of you as you inhale. And we're gonna dive into our standing split as we exhale. Okay, gather in a breath. Shiva squat and pause as you breathe out. So magnetize your left heel to your seat. Let your booty get low, push to your right foot, bring your hands to heart, lift and lengthen through your spine. Take an inhale here. Okay, twist to the lower lunge, exhale your left toes back, your left hand down, and rotate your heart open to the right. You can always pause here or horizon lunge, turn all 10 toes to the right. Start to dip your hips down, reach towards the top of your mat, and then push down like side plank, reach up and over. The two more here, just square your pelvis at the long edge of your mat that you are facing, and press to the outside edges of your feet to help lift and reach. One more time here, sink it down. Now this time as you reach, rise, rotate to the left, to the left into either your side lunge, left knee bends, as you twist left hand tall, or skandhasana for a breath. Hands to heart, right toes to the ceiling. Expand your lungs really wide with your inhalation. Rotate to your left on your exhalation, low lunge to face forward. Stretch through your spine, chair pose, utkatasana, find your seat. Lift your chest, reach back through your sit bones. Activate through your glutes and bring your hands to heart center. Good, breathe in here. Twist your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh as you breathe out. Feel that connection to your core. As you send your weight to your right foot, drive down with your right foot, start to come to your left tippy toe. To get really light in your left leg and your left upper body. So, whether you're rotated to the left, so your upper body is going to be light entirely, yeah? But your left leg. Now looking down, start to bring that connection between your right elbow and your left knee up to stand. At the top, split your wings wide, grow taller as you stack up your torso. Invitation to lengthen your left leg out for a moment, feel your quadricep fire up. And then we'll sweep into our warrior three, see how steady you can sweep your left leg back and send both arms forward. Just here for one inhale. Crescent lunge on your exhale. Breathe in to lift and lengthen. Breathe out, hands to the earth. Find your high plank pose and take an inhale. Decide what you need, vinyasa or down dog with your exhale. Okay, downward facing dog, pike your pelvis to the sky. Then inhale your heels up high. Then exhale, bend your knee, step or hop to the top, forward fold. We're going to take our feet wide and then turn your heels and turn your toes wide. Malasana squat. Okay, let your elbows encourage your knees to open externally. 
Lift your heart, lengthen through your spine. Close your eyes and breathe. We move from the place that matters most. We move from the space of groundedness, where we are connected. We are moving in alignment with our truth, our core, with integrity. Yeah. So in this grounding shape, just take one more moment to contemplate that question, to nurture that seed. When you're ready, turn your toes forward, hips high, so you're gonna slightly wide forward fold. Take your breath to the back of your heart. As you exhale, maybe just dive a little bit deeper. You might shift your weight slightly forward through your tailbone, lift taller. And eventually wander your feet into the center line. Bend your knees and have a seat to the earth. Okay. Now there's so many different directions we could go from here, but um, we're just going to use a little bit of belly strength to lower ourselves to the back body. And then we'll finish up our class on the earth. So flex your feet, knees bent. You can choose the distance between your feet and your seat. That we're working to create is an anchor through our heels. So think, push your heels down to the ground. Pull your heels towards your booty with your navel to spine connection. So think, as you pull your belly in, your heels are dragged towards you. As you drag your heels towards you, your core connection gets stronger. So they're working together. Reach your hands to the ceiling with an inhale. On your exhale, continue to root down and hug your heels towards you as you bring hands to heart and then back into like your C curve challenge spot for your core. Press your palms together, feel your biceps, your pecs engage. Take an in breath. On your exhale, rotate to your right. So start to push with your left hand, resist with your right hand, and then anchor through your right heel really strong. And breathe in up through your center. Breathe out, second side. Push with your right hand, resist with your left hand, and pull your left heel to your seat. And inhale through your center. On your exhale, slowly start to lower to a low boat. You can reach your hands out in front of you. Continue to drag your heels towards your seat. Once your lumbar spine finds the earth, lengthen out through your legs from that lift through your heart. And rotate over towards your right. And then option to pause here, reach your right hand towards the back of the room. And then bring it back through center with a big breath in. Exhale to the left. Reach your left hand towards the back of the room. And then hover and hold. Come back to center with an inhale. Bend your knees to your heart as you exhale to protect your low back. Okay, find happy baby, modified or full, your favorite variation. Breathe in nice and wide. Within the long open mouth, exhale to release. Take one more moment here. And heavy through your head, shoulders and hips all anchored to the earth. And then you'll keep your knees bent, place your feet to the ground as if you're headed to a bridge pose. Rather than bridge eagle wrap your right thigh on top of your left. You just need a single stack. Keep your shoulders as they are, scoot your hips in, and enter to the right. And then find your eagle leg twist, knees spill over to the left. And take one to two more breaths here. Now keep your right knee as is and your left leg long. So you're in a traditional supine twist like we took earlier. So you could stay here. You could Pull your left heel to your seat and catch that with your right hand. So it'll be a stretch for your left quad as you lean your right shoulder back. You could also send your right leg out any amount, but then reach your left hand a little bit closer to your right foot so you get the outside of your right leg. If you have your right leg extended, spin your right hip crease towards the top of your mat. Heavy through your right shoulder. For the add-ons, you could do one, you could do both, you could do the other, you could do neither. We'll just take another moment here to breathe into your chosen stretch. And 
and you start to unwind, you'll let your left leg go long if you have your knee bent. Bend into your right knee. Roll onto your back body. Use your right foot on the earth to square your hips just like we did at the very beginning. Then eagle wrap your left leg on top of your right. Scoot your seat to the left. And you spill your knees to the right. Adjust as needed. You'll just find three breaths here to start. Then your left knee will stay across your body. Start to send your right leg out long. I head on as much as you'd like to, so you could catch your right foot with your left hand. You could send your left leg long, catching it with your, your right hand. As you explore your shape, your chosen variation, take about three slow breaths. And there's no rush as you transition out. Just slowly unwind from whatever variation you're in. Start to roll into your back body. Bring both knees into your chest. You could either take a bridge pose. You could just send your legs to the sky, some softness to your knees. Or start to lift your hips over you into shoulder stand or plow for your final inversion. wherever you are, take five steady breaths. When you're ready to release, whether that's now or in a few more breaths, just unwind, knees to chest. Place your feet to the earth. Option for a few windshield wipers from side to side. And then eventually send your legs long, start to find your way into your Shavasana. If legs long, arms long, is not where you'd like to spend the last few minutes of your practice. Just find a shape within your body that feels comfortable and supported. And you connect to your breath. Maybe you let your eyes drop close. And then take one more full inhale through your nose. One more open, mouth exhale, let it go. Allow yourself the next five to 10 minutes just to be here in your body. Maybe mindfully contemplating what matters most. Maybe you just are simply taking a seat of the observer as you watch and notice sensation travel through your body, thoughts and feelings, travel through your heart and mind. Or maybe just to settle in, let go of any effort physical effort, mental or emotional effort, and simply allow yourself to be held, embraced by your practice. Okay, once again, thank you so much for moving with me. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. May your practice serve as your teacher. May your practice always lead you to live more authentically and love more deeply each and every day. Thank you so much.
and namaste.